بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد we continue with the 24th chapter سورة النور النور 64 verses and the name the meaning of this word النور in the Arabic it is referred to as الضوء المعروف light which is known which is understood so light and the way that we understand light Nur. And we're told here Al Muradu bin Nuri Nuru Hidayati Lahi Ta'ala Li'ibadi. But what's meant by it for this chapter is the light of Allah that He guides, that He guides His servants, His worshippers with. So the light that is Allah's guidance. That is Allah's guidance. Why is it named as such? عِظَمُ دَرْبِ الْمَثَلِ بِنُورِ هِدَايَةِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى لِلْخَلْقِ فِي قَوْلِهِ تَعَالَى اللَّهُ نُورُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Because of the brilliant, the, the, the just uh, amazing, miraculous, powerful, parable that Allah رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ The example that He strikes for His guidance for his guidance for humanity in the verse that begins with Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. And we don't know that this chapter has any other names besides this. With regards to its main objectives, we're told إِظْهَارُوا هِدَايَةِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى لِعِبَادِهِ فِي شُؤُونِ الْمَرْأَةِ وَالْأُسْرَةِ وَالْمُجْتَمَعِ That Allah Rabbu Al-Alameen in this, ver- in this chapter, He details and he makes apparent his guidance for his worshippers and all that pertain to the affairs regarding women, family life and society. So that's tremendous. And uh, the reason why this verse, this chapter, pardon me, was revealed, it is a Medinan chapter. We don't have anything for why it was revealed as a whole, but there are certainly uh, verses that have authentically been revealed for a purpose and at the head of them is perhaps with regards to the circumstance with our mother Aisha radiallahu anha and the slander that took place against her that Allah Rabbul Alameen declared her innocence from. With regards to its virtues and merits, we are told by Umar that we're told that Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu had said تَعَلَّمُوا سُورَةَ بَرَاءَةَ وَعَلِّمُوا نِسَاءَكُمْ سُورَةَ النور. This is an ather that is authentic, collected by Sa'id ibn Mansur in his Sunan. He taught, saying, learn Surah Bara'a, which is Surah Tawbah. And then he said, teach your women Surah Nur, which is this chapter. So naturally, if the men are going to teach it to the women, they themselves have to also learn it. So it's not that it's only the women should, should learn this chapter and the men should be ignorant. But it's telling us how the men are supposed to really be the ones that are leading with regards to seeking Islamic knowledge, applying it to their lives, being transformed for the better. And then in the most beautiful way, being that role model that takes it home and that shares it, that makes that difference in their family by helping to teach them too. With regards to the relationship between the beginning and the end of this Chapter, we're told, الْحَدِيثُ عَنِ الْعُقُوبَاتِ وَالتَّحَذِيرُ مِنْ عَدَمِ إِقَامَتِهَا It's about the different punishments that are legislated and the warnings on foregoing these punishments. So Allah Azzawajal in the beginning of the chapter, He begins by saying, أَزَّانِيَةُ وَزَّانِي فَجْلِدُوا كُلَّ وَاحِدٍ مِّنْهُمَا مِئَةَ جَلْدَةِ the male and the female that are adulterers that have fornicated, whip, that are fornicators, pardon me, whip each of them a hundred lashes. And he concludes the chapter saying, Those who oppose his commands should beware. Those who do not uphold his commands should beware. So the warning is there for those who are not following through on what he has legislated of punishments. But what about the relationship between An-Nur and Al-Mu'minun before it? We're told, لَمَّا خُتِمَتِ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْمَغْفِرَةِ وَالرَّحْمَةِ 
في قوله تعالى وقل رب اغفر وارحم وانت خير الراحمين الله تعالى concluded سورة المؤمنون with the teaching of with the prayer of with the seeking of forgiveness and mercy saying and say making meaning supplicate my lord forgive basically forgive me forgive us and grant me grant us mercy and you are the best of those who show compassion and mercy if that's how we concluded al mu'minun we're told then if tutihat al nur bi dilalati alayhima بفرض العقوبات لتطهير أهل المعاصي. that Allah Rabbi Alaihi begins Surah Al Nur, giving us direction as to how we can have that forgiveness and mercy. that is Allah's forgiveness and mercy, and this is specifically for those who are the sinners that are transgressing, intentionally transgressing Allah's limits, and that is by them having whatever the punishment is. Enacted upon them. Allah Rabbul Alameen says, As Zaniya to Wazani Fajili do Kulla Wahidi Minhuma Mia Tajelda. And the way that for the fornicators that they would receive Allah's forgiveness and mercy is that they would receive the punishment that is to be enacted upon them, declared by Allah in this verse for them in this life, and that is the hundred whips, the hundred lashes. And by the way, this chapter is, among, is the chapter that we're focusing on starting this month of Ramadan. And inshallah ta'ala, if you can join us Saturdays and Sundays after Dhuhr, here live at the Masjid inshallah ta'ala, we are focusing on the complete understanding of this chapter as best as possible. And we hope that you can join us so that we can learn from all that Allah ta'ala teaches us with regards to our families, our women folk, and society at large. Allahumma ameen.